boom welcome back to the blood clot channel in today's video i shall be working on this 2019 kenworth t680 i will replace the eater core and also some of the radiator hoses on the motor stay tuned In case you're wondering why I'm replacing my eater core and radiator hoses, as you can see right here, when I'm part, it leaks coolant through these hoses. Um, this one was leaking, but I'm going to replace all of them. So I'm going to replace this and the other two that I showed you. Also, I've noticed that whenever I lift up this right here, I see coolant on the floor. So there's only one thing that flows coolant underneath the dash and that's the eater core. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it. I've had this issue for a little while, but it wasn't that bad. I didn't know where my coolant was leaking and now i found where it is so if you checked everything on your truck like all the hoses the radiator and all of that and it is still leaking there's a possibility that your eater core is leaking so you can go ahead and check the floorboard to see if there's any coolant on the ground so that's why i'm changing my ether core in case you're wondering so let's get right at it first thing you're going to do is bleed your coolant out there's a bung right here and um put it in buckets catch it in in buckets i have done this like a thousand times so i'm just gonna get this section out of the way i won't be videoing it i have previous videos of me showing how to bleed the coolant out of your system so that's the first thing you want to do and note um if you're just only changing your heater core you don't have to bleed all the coolant out all you have to do is release these hoses right here this, this is the inlet the outlet and get some bung or you can get clamps and squeeze these to block off the flow of coolant and then you can go ahead and replace your eater core so in case you're just replacing your eater core that's what you can do but i'm replacing all the hoses so i have to bleed my entire system so for this um eater core replacement on hoses i just went ahead and bought um an entire length of that radiator hose i have a cutting knife Pencil knife right here, ratchet angle, X keys, right here. That's the part number. In case you're doing this, and the buckets. So that's it. I like to add this adhesive to the inside of the radiator hose, right where it connects to the radiator pipe. So I like to use this so yeah that's it so now that the coolant is drained i'ma just go ahead and just replace these hoses first before i replace the eater core so these uses eight millimeter or 10 millimeter depending on the clamp arm um, that you have so all, all you do is just take these hoses off measure it against that big hose right there cut it and then just um, replace it um, I bought new clamps as well so yeah basically that's it guys it's not um, difficult um, to do it so let's get right at it Thank you. 
So you take it off, measure it against the other one and cut um, to length.
so these are the old hoses that i took off and um the new ones are on it so that's how it look and um that's right there so next thing i'm going to do is um install the heater for so first thing i'm going to do is take this off right here and then i go on the inside um i've never taken off a heater core before but i know it's below here so let's get into it So you're just going to pull this out, it's just held on by clips.
next you're going to use a star bit this is a t25 and you're going to remove this right here it's a t20 And that's it guys, that's how you take out the the ether core for your 2019 Trimble T680. As you can see it's wet inside so it was indeed leaking uh, coolant so that's it. On the outside, all you have to do is just replace back, just place back those on it and that's it. So now I'm going to refill my coolant and that's really it. That's really it. So if you have found any value from this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Just keep trucking. Thank you.